Welcome back to Blues Fans TV. This is Ben. I'm joined with uh, Alex from Grasto. I'm sure you remember him now. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is the uh, official player ratings uh, from Blues TV Fans TV. We're going to start with uh, the goalkeeper, Caballero. Uh, I think, out of 10, I think 7.5. 7. He didn't, he didn't do an amazing job. He, he wasn't like stand out, but it's not like he did bad either. I think he was unlucky with the free kicks. He did take yeah. a bit of a deflection, but yeah. after that, he, he did what he had to do. So, exactly. um, I mean, it was unfortunate not to get the clean sheet. But yeah, I think yeah, seven, seven and a half is all right. Yes, yeah, um, starting off um, re really strong. Uh, and then we'll go to uh, Marcus Alonso. Um, yeah, someone's just uh, decided to beat past. That's fantastic. Um, that he, and you can see my car right now. Uh, Lewis is deciding just to uh, mess around. Cheers, Lewis. Marcus Alonso. Uh, I think he's another. I think he's another seven. Seven, maybe. I, I don't. I don't think. Thing is, I don't think he played poorly. They didn't have too many attacks down the left. I don't think. I don't think he did anything. Maybe actually, maybe a six and a half. It's not like he did anything good, but he didn't do anything appalling either. I mean, I think in the first half, uh, I think he actually struggled to find a pass that didn't go to a whole player. Actually, that's true. I remember I remember watching the first half and I was very worried until Batshuayi scored in the sixth. But the first five minutes, I was thinking what... I, I thought the scoreline was going to get embarrassing to hold. I think it's a bit of a scenario where whenever Alonso plays, we miss Emerson. And then whenever Emerson plays, we miss uh, Alonso. It's one of them ones. One of uh, them. Moving on, uh, we'll go to the... Uh, on, no, let's go to Kurt Zuma. Oh, yeah, we'll leave the, the best defender until last. Um, yeah, Kurt Zuma obviously picked up a yellow card, uh, but did make some good tackles. So what would you... I think... I think he played well, but he got the yellow. But I think... It's not like he had a stand-up performance, is it? I think maybe a six. Six. Mm, OK. Um, that's, that's fair. Uh, yeah, again, picked up a yellow card. What do you think? Uh, I'd, give him a, I'd give him a seven. Uh, he did, you know, he did sit out some play, you know, um, Hull, Hull City. I mean, I'd like to say it was a Dharma Triore, but it really wasn't. Uh, you know, uh, the, the Adama Traore look alike, but uh, was, was, like <laughs> was in the pocket of Zuma, to be I, fair. I was chanting it's just a B-Tech Adama Traore. <laughs> <laughs> the haircut and everything, mate. Uh, yeah, but, yeah, you know what, let's, you know, what, what do you think about Kurt Zuma? You post in the comments what you think his rating is, you know. Uh, if you do agree with our ratings, don't go ahead, and if you don't, go ahead. Now, uh, moving on to uh, the goal scorer himself, uh, Tamori. Um, off I, you go. I think he didn't... He didn't have an amazing performance, but I think like, I don't think he had standout quality. But I think with the goal, I think it pushes him up to an eight, 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 eight point five. That's fair. That's because fair. it's not like he had a world-class defending performance, did he? But yeah. it's just the fact he got the got the goal, eight, eight point five. I think. Under eight, eight point five. Yeah. Which one? Eight, eight point five. Eight. This is your official rate. Eight, eight, eight. eight. Okay. Uh, now, obviously, Dave has for the Quater. Um, just was there, really. D done what you had to do. Um, he, seemed, uh, he, he, he seemed like a bit of a presence on the pitch as our captain. He, he, he just he just knows how to control the pitch, I think. But he didn't have a he didn't have a standout game either. I think another six point five, six point five. That's fair. Do you, agree? you know, yeah, I, I agree with that. You know, I think one of those major mistakes wasn't actually caused by him, but you know, he was there. He was isolated. Yes, you know, I think six point five is fair. Yeah. Uh, now, obviously, moving on to the midfield. Now, let's start. You know, with the, the man in the central defence uh, area, like middle man, uh, Kovacic. Kovacic. I think he seemed to control. The, he seemed to control the play well. I think without Kovacic, we would have gone down a lot more. I think, I think Kovacic was an eight. Actually, okay. Se Seven point five because he got the yellow. Seven point five. <laughs> I think. <laughs> but he, is, he had to make the tackle. He had. Yeah. He, he, he yeah. was. He put. He took one there and obviously he had to go through a bit. He took one for the team to be fair, but. But I, I like seven point five rating to be fair. Seven point five. Um, yeah. I, I get it, your point. It's again. It's not like he had a world class bang out. Everyone's like, oh my god, Kovacic played amazing. It was just a classic Kovacic performance, really. What about uh, you know one of the persons you know put off in the um, double substitution mount? Um, how, do, how do you think he did today? You know it's very mix and match how he did today. Honestly, I genuinely think Mount was about four or five. Four or five. I don't. I he didn't. He didn't really create much. He didn't really add much to the team. We seem like a better team without him on the pitch. But 
think 18-year-old Billy Gilmore putting a better shift than Mason Mount. Okay, I'll give you that one, but I think four is very harsh. Okay, a five. A five. A five, a five is, yeah, five. You know, five, we'll go with five, but I, I think that's harsh. I do think that's harsh, you know. You, you're saying you've done worse than Alonso. What? It's, he just didn't add much to the An 18 year old came on and showed him up. Okay, okay well, I, I, I we'll leave it to the guys. Um, uh, Ross Bartley, um, yeah, um, personally, he can get out of the club. Uh, cameraman Sammy, uh, owner of Blues Fans TV, says one. <laughs> I mean, I think that's a, a bit too nice. Uh, so, uh, yeah. A poor performance from him. He's just, he just gets our hopes up. We just think. Remember, he played against Nottingham Forest and he played against Burnley, and we thought maybe this is a turn for us. No, nope. he goes and puts in another shit performance. Yeah, I think he's. Just, I think it's time for him to get out of the club. Absolutely nothing. Uh, I think you know I, I like to get this rating um, because Ross. <laughs> uh, I don't have anything personal against you. I like you as a guy. However, when you put on a Chelsea shirt, I just get very disappointed. Uh, you can have a nice little five, just because of what you've done to Aspilicueta as well. You, you know, you left him isolated, you, you didn't track back, and you could have cost the goal. So you can sit there with your little five rating. I hope you are watching this. Uh, Ross, please, please either pick it up or just sign somewhere else, please. Uh, but now going on to the, uh, the, the front three, uh, let's start with Pedro. Pedro, I think... Considering he hasn't been in a Chelsea shirt for a while now, I think he put in a fair performance. I don't... Again, it's it's just like all the players. It's not like they had a standout performance, but he put in a shift. He put I think he was very unfortunate at the score. You know, the, yeah. It was a great ball to him, just whistled past the post. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but he created the chances, you know, well, apart from... like the, He was slow for the first 20 minutes, but once he, he, you know, he got the gears turning, you know, he was in the game, he was doing quite well. Yeah, I think... I think... Mm, uh, seven, seven point five. I know I keep giving seven point five. But I think, I, is that your favourite number? <laughs> yeah, probably. But I think, I think, well, I wouldn't want to give him an eight because an eight just seems a bit too excessive. No, of course. He didn't get an assist. He didn't get an assist, did he? No. No. Considering he didn't get an assist for a goal, I think eight's too much. But considering he put in a banging performance, his work rate was good. He was solid. He doesn't deserve to be lower because he. It was not like he played poor. He just didn't really get the end product. Now I'm a little bit worried to mention this person because obviously uh, in your fan cam you uh, did question his ability, and I feel like this is going to be a, a very different opinion from both of us. But uh, Callum. 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 I. <laughs> Callum. I thought he played shocking today. I. I thought. I thought promising when he came. When he came back from New. In the new year, he, he came from Nottingham Forest, he got a goal, and he basically got the assist to Barkley in that game. And then he got a goal against Burnley. I thought, okay, well done, but he can't even do it against Hull. I think he, I think he, I've, I've got to disagree. Um, he took it to the players, you know, he, he was the first man to chase down the ball. He, he, you know, showed you know his class dribbling. He showed his class skills. He, you know, he really, really put in a shift. So uh, this is going to be a very uh, conflict. So I want to hear your. I'm going to give you. I'm going to give my rating, and I want to hear what you say because I want to see how close this is. Uh, I'm going to give him a seven. Seven. Okay. Uh, what are you going to give him? Uh, to be fair, I understand why you give him a seven, but I think Hudson. He, he can take on his man well. This is what I've been saying to every, everyone who questions Hudson Odoi. I think he shows good flair and he shows the ability that we haven't seen anybody from since Hazard to be able to take on a man and just shoot. So I think, or like take on a man and just, he's got that flair to him. So I think he showed it. He just didn't have end product and he didn't, he didn't have a good impact to the game. I'd say about a five, 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 a five. Okay. Um... Now, we'll, we'll leave it to them. Uh, I mean, I want to say seven. He wants to say five. Yeah, we're we're moving on to the, the, you know, the, the last starter, uh, Mitchy, goal scorer. Uh, let's just you know, get straight into it. Um, I think he's done well. Um, I think it's a, a, an eight, just like... Yeah, I, think I was about to say an eight. Exactly an eight. He, di he didn't do poor. He didn't do good. And he got a goal. Uh, you, can't really, you can't really expect much more from him. He's not a starter. He hasn't really properly... He came on against Arsenal, but he wasn't... Great, but. Uh, and uh, moving on to the subs, you know, we're not going to give uh, Tarek Lamperty a rating because you know he didn't have enough game time. 
uh, come on in the 90th minute. So we'll go to the two subs, you know, the double substitution. Let's start with probably the, the worst of the two, uh, William. You know, uh, he, he was still all right, but you know, I mean, when we get onto the guy, you know, we, we, we're going to explain why. But uh, give me your opinion on William, Alex. Come on. Probably. I mean, I know he didn't play great, but I, exactly, I think unpopular. I, I, it's an unpopular opinion. I think probably about 4.5. He, he's, he really, he really didn't do anything special. He didn't, he didn't create any key passes. Almost got assist to Pedro. He was just, he was just basically Pedro. Okay. Fair enough. He was just basically. Um, Pedro. We'll give him, the, we'll give the 4.5 then. No, I think that's that's harsh and controversial. Uh, I'd give him a six, but. Let's move on to you know the better person there, you know, the guy that you gave credit to, and the guy I'd, I'd like to see more of, you know, Billy Gilmore. Billy Gilmore. Talk. I th I think Billy Gilmore. I think he's absolutely class, man. I I've been saying this, I've been saying this ages. I watched, I watched us play Liverpool in the under 23s and about a few months ago, and Billy Gilmore was on then, and I, I ever since then I thought he was absolutely class. What about this game? This game though, I think, I think an eight. I think an eight. He's done Ooh. absolutely. He's done as much as he can. Okay, I'll give you. Oh, that's fair. But I mean, just saying he was as good as the goal scorers. I mean, the goal got Scott gets signed. Uh, let's do seven point five, and obviously that that's, that will finish the rating. So, uh, guys, uh, thank you for watching. Obviously, I'm Ben. This was uh, Alex from Grasto. Uh, <laughs> but no, thanks for watching the video, guys. Uh, do you know check the uh, descriptions? Check out uh, Sammy Lewis and the socials. Uh, give it. Yep. You, you took words right out of my mouth. Uh, yeah. Uh, do uh, click subscribe.